If not for God. If not for God. Number one, thank God for the victories in 2023. We started the year on January 1st. Millions and billions of people started the year on January 1st. But today, many of them are no more. But you are here on the last day of the year because God was with you. There are 10 victories that I want us to thank God for this morning. How many? 10 victories. You may say, but well, Pastor, 2023 has not been good for me. Really? You know, the elders have a saying. They say, he that can think well, we, we know how to be grateful. I may not have translated it very well in English. But Yoruba says, Enituba monuru. If you can think properly, you have the heart of gratitude. Victory number one. You did not starve in 2023. Things were hard for everybody. But somehow, God gave you something to eat. It may not have been the one you would love to eat. But your mouth was not empty. Why don't you rise on your feet and say, Father, thank you for the victory of food. Thank you for the victory of food. That in 2023, I did not starve. In 2023, I did not have to go to the dustbin to find food. In 2023, as bad as things were, my mouth was not empty. Lord, I give you glory. I give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Please sit down. You know, I started by saying the one who knows how to think will be grateful. I pray for somebody here. May you never lack food in your life. Please rise on your feet and thank God for that victory. Thank God for the victory of food. That you did not have to beg. You did not starve in 2023. Not everybody, not everybody had something to eat. Cry to God. Say, Father, I am grateful. In spite of how hard things were, I still had something to eat. In one way or another, you fed me. Daddy, I am grateful. I am grateful. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Victory number two. Thank God for clothing. That people did not see your nakedness. A number of people that didn't have clothes to wear. But from January to December, God covered your nakedness. You did not have to go out naked. In fact, you had clothes that you were changing. So only one that somebody gave to them. Is somebody grateful that you were not naked in 2023? There are many things we take for granted. The clothes on your body, you may think it's ordinary. Some people have no such privilege. I pray for somebody here. The God that covered your nakedness in 2023, we also cover your nakedness in 2024. Victory number three. Shelter. You were not homeless. 
You may say, but Pastor, how I wish I lived in Banana Highland. Uh, it's because you have somewhere to live. That's why you are looking for somebody be something better. Rise on your feet and thank God. You didn't have to go and look for a banner. You didn't have to go and look for a poster that you can use to cover your head. Why don't you bless the name of God? Appreciate the Lord. You did not go about looking for banner so that you can cover your head and sleep. Thank God for the victory of shelter. You had somewhere to sleep, somewhere you can lay your head. God was good to you. Appreciate him. Say thank you, Father, that I did not have to rely on a poster. I did not have to rely on a banner for me to be able to find somewhere to sleep. Appreciate the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. The God that gave you a place to sleep in 2023. We also give you a place to sleep in 2024. Victory number four. Out. As we speak today, there are people on admission in the hospital. They would love to be in church, but they cannot. But somehow, you are not on admission. People that are more hardworking than you, some people that are richer than you, they are even more prayerful than you. They are on admission in the hospital. But you are here, dressing radiantly, in the house of God. You are able to stand on your leg. Is somebody grateful to God? That you are not on admission. Appreciate the Lord. Say, Father, thank you. I am in the church. I'm not in the hospital. It's not by my power. It's not by my strength. That my family is not visiting me right now in the hospital. Bless the name of God. Bless his name. Say, Father, thank you. Thank you that I'm not lying on hospital bed. See, if it was not the Lord that was on our side, we wouldn't be here today. If it was not for God, we won't be here. Bless his name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. You did not end 2023 in the hospital bed. In 2024, you will not be on admission. No member of your family will be on admission. Perfect divine health shall be your portion. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Blessing number five. <laughs> Salvation. We take it for granted. Uh, salvation is available to everybody. But there are people that started 2023 in the house of God. But today they don't want to hear anything called Jesus. But for you, regardless of all the problems you had, regardless of all the challenges you had, regardless of all the disappointments you faced, you are still in the house of God. I pray for you. That victory of salvation, nobody will take away. Is somebody grateful to God that you have not abandoned Jesus? The grace to hold on to him to the very end. May God give unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Please rise on your feet and say, Father, I thank you. That I am still in the faith. Go ahead and begin to bless his name. Thank you, Lord. That in spite of my problems, in spite of my challenges, 
I am still here. I have not turned my back on you. And I will never turn my back on you. Whatever comes my way, nothing will take my feet away from your house. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Nothing will take away the gift of salvation. You will never be missing in the house of God. Victory number six. The victory of sanity. You did not go crazy. You may think it's normal to be normal. But it's not normal to be normal. It's not normal to be to be normal. Look, look on your left. Does this person look normal? Look on your right. Does this person look normal? They arise on your feet and say, Father, thank you that I am normal. <laughs> thank you that I am normal. There is no controversy. Anybody that sees you knows that you are normal. Anybody who sees you knows that you are normal. Father, thank you that I did not go crazy. And people are not arguing whether I am normal or not. Bless his name. There are many people that are not normal. But you started the year normal, you are ending it normal. I pray for you. The God that kept you normal in 2023 will keep you normal in 2024. And for the rest of your life in Jesus' name. Victory number seven. Victory of life. Victory of life. Every day, they give bodies to the grave. But somehow, your body was not given to the grave. Even you, you go for burial service. But nobody attended your own burial service. There are people younger than you that 2023 was their last year. I pray for you. The God that kept you alive in 2023 will keep you alive again in 2024. The grave did not receive you in 2023. I pray the grave will not receive you in 2024. Victory number eight. Victory number eight. You know, it's one thing to be alive. It's another thing to be available. There are some people that are alive, but they are missing. Hey, I have a brother, but we have not seen him since 2021. Oh, I have a child. I've not seen her since 2019. There are people, as I'm speaking today, they are alive, but they are not available. Is anybody available here today? Not only are you alive, you are present, you are available. Rise on your feet and say, Father, thank you. I am alive, I am available. <laughs> I am available. I am not missing. They are not looking for me. I am alive, I am available. I appreciate the Lord. I appreciate the Lord. There are many that are alive, but they are not available. Father, I thank you that I am not missing. My wife is not missing. None of my children is missing. Father, I am grateful. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Victory number nine. You see, when Psalm 124 Verse 2 to 3 says, if it has not been the Lord, if not for God, we won't be where we are today. That's why I said, if you can think properly, you will be grateful. You stop worrying about that shoe that your husband has not bought for you. You stop worrying about that heart 
that they have not bought for you. You stop worrying about that phone. Because the things you have are more than the things you don't have. See, some people are laughing because they are worried. They are still all they are, everything they are looking for is iPhone 15. I pray for you. You will have the grace to be grateful in Jesus' name. Victory number nine. Not only are you alive, not only are you available, you are complete. You see, they are not looking for one of your hands. Your hands are complete. You did not miss a leg. You did not lose a high. Is somebody here who is complete? Then rise on your feet. Say, Father, I am complete. I didn't lose a hand. I didn't lose a leg. I didn't lose a high. Bless the name of the Lord. I am whole. I am whole. I am whole. I am alive. I am available. I am whole. Father, I thank you. I did not lose a hand. I did not lose a leg. I did not lose, a, lose an eye. I am whole. Father, I thank you. Bless the name of God that you are complete. You are not missing any body part. Bless his name. Bless his name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. The victory number 10. <laughs> You know, it's one thing, like I said, to be alive. It's one thing to be available. It's another thing to be whole. But victory number 10, it's a completely different matter to be lookable. Lookable means that they are not hiding you. Let me tell you there are people that are alive. They are available. They are whole but they are hiding them somewhere. When you ask for them, they say they are not at home because something is wrong with them and they don't want you to see. But look at your neighbor, is she lookable? Is he lookable? Ask your neighbor, am I lookable? Rise on your feet and thank God that you are lookable. You are lookable, you are lookable. They didn't hide you. They didn't hide you. You are lookable. You are lookable. Bless the name of the Lord. Father, thank you that I am lookable. They are not hiding me. They are not telling people I'm not at home. I am lookable. Father, I give you all the praise. I give you all the honor. I give you all the adoration. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. The Lord that made you lookable in 2023. Even in 2024, you will be more lookable. And so shall it be. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. All the battles that the enemy brought your way in 2023, God gave you victory. I, I, I only mentioned 10. I only mentioned 10. But somehow God gave you victory. That same God will give you victory in 2024. So, next point is prepare for the battle ahead. The enemy does not give up. You know, some human beings, after they have tried and tried, they have failed, they will give up. But the enemy does not give up. They may have failed concerning you in 2023. It doesn't mean they will not try again in 2024. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9. Let's open to it and see what the Lord says about the future. Say, for a great and 
effectual door is opened unto me. But there are many. When God is preparing blessings for someone, the enemy is busy trying to block it. So for as many of you as are looking for blessings in 2024, also prepare for prepare for the battle ahead. You were victorious in 2023. In the mighty name of Jesus, you'll be victorious in 2024. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8 says, Be sober, be vigilant. For your adversary, the devil, walk it about, seeking whom he may. The enemy, enemy is not dead. Satan is not dead yet. Tell your neighbor, Satan is not dead yet. In 2024, Satan is still going to be busy. Say, so be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, is still. But concerning you, it will fail in Jesus' name. Don't get carried away by success. I pray that God will bless you. I pray that you go to the next level. But don't get carried away by success. One of the most vulnerable time of anybody's life is when you experience success. One of the most dangerous time in the life of any human being is when you just receive a testimony. Because you can easily get carried away by success. I pray for somebody here. As the Lord begins to bless you in 2024, you shall not get carried away in Jesus' name. The more God blesses you, the more humble you should become. Please write it down. The more God blesses you, the more humble you should become. Because one of the things the enemy can do is as soon as there's blessing, it pumps you up. And then you begin to say, I look at what I have acquired. And then God destroys you. Because God Resist the proud. But for those who are not wise, you become successful, you become big. And then God destroys you. The more successful you are, the more humble you should be. Also write this one down. In 2024, cover your blessings. If you think people are happy for you, you lie. If you think people are happy for you, you, you lie. As God is blessing you, you are covering it. Again, the elders say, any tissue, any batter, and for obo, tell your neighbor, cover your Tell the other neighbor, cover your. And then for the women, don't say in 2024, then go take. Do you understand? Don't say in 2024, then go. <laughs> As they are taking, the enemy is also getting ready to take. I pray for somebody here. You will not get carried away by success. Yeah. Write this one down also. Don't get carried away by disappointment. Oh, I am tired. I can't go on again. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Whipping me and deal for the night. Joy comet in the morning. You may experience some setbacks. Things may not go the way you are, you are expecting. 
But don't get carried away. Don't get carried away. It's only for a season. It's only for a season. It doesn't matter if it takes long. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes. I pray for somebody here. No matter how long it takes, you will laugh last in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever that thing you have been waiting on God for, the God that did it for them will do it for you also in the mighty name of Jesus. Write this one down also. Don't get carried away by friends. Don't get carried away by Ah, she's my friend. It's my friend. The people who hate you are more than people who like you. Write it down. Don't get carried away. Don't get carried away. The people who hate you are more than the people who like you. The people who want you to fail are more than the people who want you to succeed. What was the title of this point? Prepare for the battles in 2024. Because if you are not careful, you may not fall into the hands of your enemy. You may fall into the hands of your friend. The Bible says concerning David, David said, if it was my enemy, he wouldn't have bothered me. If it was somebody who hated me, I wouldn't have minded. But it was you. We went to the house of God together. We prayed together. That's the testimony of David. Don't get carried away by friends. The one that betrayed Jesus, betrayed him with a kiss. Oh, Master, I pray for somebody here. In 2024, you will not get carried away by friends. Yeah. Finally, Psalm 91, verse 1. Psalm 91, verse 1 says, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide prepare for battle in 2024. And the way to prepare for battle is to hide in the secret place of the Most High. The way to prepare for the battle is to hide in the secret place of the Most High. How do you hide? You can write this down. Pray without season. Pray without season. For those of you who have not been praying, you better start. You better start. Because in praying, you are in the presence of God. God leads you. In 2024, prepare for battle by being in the secret place of the Most High. Pray without season. Please write it down. As you pray through 2024, you will discover no matter the battle, you will overcome. Next one, write this one down. Make the Bible your first word and your last word. F W L W. You can't forget that one now. Huh? Write it down. F W L W. Your first word and your, your last word. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. This is what I do. Maybe that's why I'm still standing. Whenever I wake up, the first thing I try to do is pray and go for the word. Sometimes I forget. I want to grab my phone and say, ah, you have not prayed. I leave the phone. 
It works. It works. Many of us, as soon as we get up, CNN, cha, 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 movie magic. You're starting your day with movie magic. Tell your neighbor, in 2024, start your day with the Bible. It works. It works. If you start your day with God, that day will be conditioned for his presence. But if you start your day, you wake up and it's, it's remote control, you are, you are fighting. You are already out of his will. For those of you who have smart watches, I just discovered recently, like this one, you know, now I'm, I'm getting really too chop now. I'm no longer, no longer a bushman. <laughs> you can see my wristwatch now. I have gone to the next level. You two will go to the next level in Jesus' name. There are many things you can do to keep you in the secret place of the Most High. And I pray you will not depart from that secret place in the mighty name of Jesus. And then finally, on this secret place, obey the Lord completely. Obey the Lord completely. Obey the Lord completely. God reserves his special blessings for the obedient. That's why he said in Isaiah 59, he said, my hand is not short that I cannot save you. My ear is not heavy that I cannot hear. But your sin has separated you from me. Therefore, when you pray, I can't even hear. God will bless people in 2024. But the people that walk according to his will. The Bible says, the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous. And his ears are open to their cries. But the face of God is against them that do evil. You want to prepare for the blessing in 2024? Stay away from evil and walk with the Lord. Please rise on your feet. I say, Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for the victories in 2023. Help me to prepare for the blessings of 2024. Go ahead and begin to talk to the Lord. Thank you for all the victories. Thank you for all the victories. And thank you for the blessings ahead. Greater blessings are ahead for those who are willing to walk with the Lord. Greater miracles are ahead for those who are willing to follow the will of God. Say, Father, thank you for helping me in 2023. But much more in 2024. Help me to walk with you. Help me to walk in obedience. Help me to study your word. Help me, Father, to pray without ceasing. Help me to prepare for the battles of 2024. Father, let 2024 be more glorious for me than 2023. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I pray for every one of you in 2024. Greater victory shall be your portion. In 2024, great promotion shall be your portion. In 2024, great testimony shall be your portion. And in 2024, concerning you and your family, pleasant surprises shall be your portion. And so shall it be. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Please take your seat. You are here this morning, say, Pastor, thank you for that word from the Lord. I need help. Pastor, please pray for me. 
please pray with me. I need Jesus in my life. With Jesus in your life, you will conquer every battle. With Jesus in your life, you will experience peace that money cannot buy. So if you are one of those people that say, Pastor, pray with me. Pastor, pray for me. I need Jesus. I need help. Please come. Come. You will overcome in 2024. Your life will be better in 2024. God bless you. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Let's appreciate them as they come. I want to make that call one more time. You can decide to be on the side of God. You can decide to fight the battles of life yourself. What if you say, Pastor, pray for me. Pastor, pray with me. I also want to give my life publicly to Jesus. Please come as we make that altar call one more time. Come, those of you in front and those that are joining them online, please say after me, my Lord Jesus, thank you for helping me thus far. I surrender my life to you. Please be the Lord of my life. Take over from this point onwards. Help me. Save me. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. God bless you.